Hi people, this is Gio from A Round Table and Gio's Real World. And today is the movie The Creator. And director is Garth Edwards. And, and the, all the, the four main actors for me is John David Washington. Yes, you know that person. Gemma Chang. Ken Watan Abi, if I pronounce it good again, I'm sorry. And Allison Jani. Uh, Jan, oh wait, Jani. Okay. Anyway, so this one here got Rotten Tomatoes 67% and people's viewing 89. I, for myself, I'm in the 70-ish. And here's the reason why. Okay, it's about in the future, 2070. Now, here's the off back. That's one, give or take, let's say 50 years? The technology in there, the buildings, how they rebuild the buildings, how they make the buildings and everything, it's so far off. In 50 years, it's like impossible. So that's one, and then forget about the robots. Just the, the simple buildings, technology, the, the, the aircrafts, the floating aircraft. In 50 years, hell no, ain't gonna be anything close to that. So that gave me off of that. And the other thing is this is what it's about. So Mr. Washington there, is the whole story is about that he betrayed his, his wife, lover, his woman of his dreams there, and and what happens, five years later, he works for the agent and everything. And the thing is, this, the whole, I'm not going to spoil, spoil, spoil the story movie. It's a very good watch. I'm, 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 in, the, my, I'm, I'm in, in, in the high 70s, give or take. The whole thing is about this, this AI thing. That really bothers me. Because here is seeing like favoritism for AI or going against it. And me, for me, myself, AI for me, for example, it's like putting a mouse, a pregnant mouse, female, in a beautiful farm field. Oh, but let it go and everything. Now, or it could, it could be the farm field and everything, it would be a very eco, a beautiful ecosystem. Or that a mouse, it's generation after generation after generation, will destroy the farmer's crop, that there's, there's, a, there's a land with no tomorrow, that he has spent so much a fortune just to, to, to put the land back the way it is before. So there's two ways of looking at it. Now here's an example. Five years later, he's emotional depressed because because he betrayed his love of his life, and then he wants her back. Now is he in the right mind, or is is he thinking straight? Is he for the humans or against humans? And then, but of course, all the humans they put in there all all talk very bad and they're evil because the way they are and everything, and they made it very military. It's like we take no prisoners. If you're for the AI. You're one of them, human or no human, you get destroyed. So, isn't the, is the future gonna be, the humans gonna be that bad, that they're gonna kill anybody, or they're gonna be more civilized, you know? And to me, it's, it's like, it's like, say like the mouse, or as an example, it's like, it's like the AI. To me, it's like, like a sheep. When you're hugging a cute little puffy sheep, is it a real sheep, or is it a wolf in a sheep's skin? So, yeah, it's, to me, it's like, ah, it's, a, it's an iffy conversation. The movies, look, it's great. And how you and, and if you're guiding towards an AI point of view, say, oh, I believe the AI are good things. To me, think of this way. Think of this. This could be the prequel, a Battlestar Galactica, the the, 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 the the TV series, the 2004, which Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I did research on that one. There, 95 percent. So to me, it's like that. You don't know the outcome later on. And then, for example, if you, you contaminated the world, and you and the human race gets eliminated. Who are, you gonna, who are you gonna blame? But then again, humans are, are might kill themselves off by themselves, by their own hands, you know? So the movie is an example, it observes a lot of emotions in me. It's very touching. The the girl is adorable, the cute little girl is adorable and everything. But to me it's that like I always said that's gets what's gonna happen. If one day the AI gets loose in the real world, is somebody who's lonely or went through a depression or heartache and or needs or needs love brings the work home when he's not supposed to, he or she, and he, and he goes, I need this, I need that. It's me, 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 me. And then when it's too late, the whole world will suffer. So like now you guys are all suffering listening to me for over, close over four minutes. So that's it. It is a good watch. It's kind of, yes, it rubs me in the, in the wrong way of the AI thing world. And, and like, who's for it, who's against it? Well, to each their own kind of sense. So subscribe, 
give me your likes and everything. This is Gio from A Round Table and Gio's Real World. I'm gonna let you go from seeing, seeing the movie, The Creator. Very worth the movie. I, I went to Chico Night. I enjoyed it big time. Uh, and to me, it's like, Chico to me is perfect. It's visual is very great and everything, but it's not like Star Trek kind of sense. So if you really, well, if, but but if you if you pay twenty bucks, you're still gonna get a good movie. The great story. It's a romantic movie. There's romance inside. There's a bond, the emotional bond, uh, how people change. So it's not only about robots. You kill, I kill. No, no, no. There's dialogue. There is a there's attachments to this movie. So overall, very good movie. Look, I just said I put I put myself on the nice seventy. Yeah, I'm repeating myself. I'm so sorry, guys. So anyways, that's it. G.U. at the theater. Bye, guys.